Hello YouTube and welcome back to the next video. Uh, Google has just released Google Drive for iOS. Apple has already approved it and here's the app. So this is the landing page. My Drive shared with me stared recent offline. So let's take a look into My Drive. Uh, you can see it's divided into folders and files uh, and we can of course we can take a look at our files. I've just wrote here some thing, things in German. Um, and now one first downside of this app. Uh, you want to edit your document. You get to go to send and now you have got two choices. Open in and you got your iBooks, Kindle, SkyDrive, Dropbox and 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 and. This is fine but uh, think about one thing. How do you get the file back into Google Drive? out of none of those apps here. So this won't work. We go back and we take the second chance here, open in Safari. And what will it do? It will just open the, norm the normal Safari browser, uh, lock yourself into Google Docs and you get the normal mobile view into Google here. So this is not really great. But of course, if you have got an internet connection, you can hit edit and you can edit these things the normal way, so the old way. Let me just put in here some numbers. So that's it. Hit update and we go back into the Google Drive app. Still not updated here. Let's hit sync. Go back into the file and we can see our numbers here. So this is pretty yeah, unsatisfying here. The Android app can do this. You can edit right into in the app itself. Uh, second thing I have noticed, um, you can hit these little arrows here and even if there's a, uh, it is shown here available offline, settings for folders, no, you can't make your a whole folder offline available. Uh, you just can make single files available offline. So let's do this. It will have now downloaded the file and just to show you we went into the airplane mode, go back and now it is under offline files. Here is it, our test document and we still can read it. What we can't do, of course, we can't edit it without an internet connection. This is definitely not the thing I was hoping for on my iPhone. So we go back here. Another thing you have noticed, there is no upload button here. We can't create any new docs or Excel files. Uh, we can't upload picture, pictures uh, and even no MP3s. All those things the Android app can do. And what else can the Android app do? You can delete your files. Yes, you're guessing right. No, no delete button here in the Android, uh, in the iPhone app. So this is pretty, this is a first step, but it is unsatisfying. This app could have been a whole lot more. Yes, I'm definitely disappointed. I'm just to maybe 40% satisfied with this app. So let's wait another three months until the next update, I guess. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a good time. A nice weekend and bye.